Hey everyone, thanks for joining me along with Steve Lee, butcher for the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Beef, it's what's for dinner. You know I love a great steak. There's nothing better. Nothing better. Now, I have to talk to you, Steve, about this, and this is why you're here today. This is a big piece of beef to buy in the store. Where actually does this come from on the cow? This would be from your loin end between the loin and the round. Okay. Okay. So a nice piece of meat. Nice piece of meat. What am I going to do with all of this meat? The value is there for sure, but when I get it home, I can't put this whole thing in the oven. No. What we're going to do is we're going to trim this thing up. Okay. Off of this end, you're going to cut a roast. All right. So you'll have a nice sirloin roast. We're going to square this end up so you can get some stir fry, kebab meat, oh, nice. stuff like that. Okay. And then we'll cut the rest of it into steaks. Perfect. So you'll have roast, kebabs, and steak. All right, and you're going to teach us how to be a butcher today, right? Exactly. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove this fat and some of this silver skin. So you would just take your knife and go down. If you get a little meat on that fat, that's okay. Now, it, this is typical for this type of meat? Yes. Okay. Yes. The top sirloin is a nice piece of meat. It makes some nice steaks. Um, that you can grill. Now this piece here can be a little tough, so you may want to take a little bit of this off. Okay, all right. And that'll get you down into this little fat I down I see in that, here. right. Okay. There's a little layer there and we're getting rid of it, right? Right. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this point off because it's just kind of fat and some gristle. Okay. And we're gonna cut this right across here This for is gonna roast. be for the roast. Okay. So we'll cut this down. That's a nice and roast. You will have a nice roast. Next thing you're going to want to do is square this end off, and that you can use for kebabs, you can use it for stir fry, okay. you can use it for whatever you want it. Okay? All right. Then you can start cutting your steaks. You can cut them an inch, three quarters of an inch, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, and as you're cutting that, I'm going to refer back to this label and the sticker because you have the measuring right there, which is so nice. And all of it's on the website. Exactly. At beef. It's what's for dinner .com. So you just trimmed off a little bit. Whenever you see it, now that you've gotten into this, this is more of what I call a workable state. Yes. Because it's such a large piece of meat. And you want to, as you cut these steaks, you'll want to take some of this fat off. Okay. Um, you can leave as much on as you like, but you may want to cut some of it off. Learning how to do this is important when the value is so good when you're buying this type of meat. Your butcher's not going to do this for you. It's really helpful. Thank you, Steve, for showing us how to do it at home. You're welcome.